So I wanted to do this video on how Korean people study maths because on like the PISA scores uh, always Korean people rank very high uh, for mathematics and uh, there's probably some reasons why uh, the Koreans uh, do so well in maths and I think it starts at a very young age um, and it's also how everything is organized so let me just show you this website um, this is a Korean website um, so if you want to use the Korean resources uh, and also do well uh, you could also come over to this website it's 11math.com 11math.com okay so this is uh, what I use for my son uh, and uh, he's been uh, studying on the fourth grade here as you can see along the top if you go here it uh, shows you the menu and then you can choose which grade your, your child is in. So my son is in the fourth grade, but sometimes I also use the fifth grade material as well, uh, just because I want him to be familiar with it before he actually uh, touches it in, in the classroom. So I come over here and I choose uh, some kind of topic that is quite useful to him. And as, it, as you can see, it's gonna progress so like here, this is quite simple uh, mathematics uh, showing the multiplication but using um, uh, using zeros um, in the mathematics. So you have to put the placeholder of the zeros. Okay, so and then as you can see, if you go through here, it progresses and it gets more, more and more difficult until you're doing kind of uh, well, this is long multiplication, uh, long division, and um, so it gets a little bit more difficult for each kind of topic, and this is all on the level of the fourth grade. Why I think this is really different to uh, the kind of Western way of teaching is because there's so much more practice um, involved, and I think, in my personal feeling, uh, mathematics is a lot about practice and memorization and getting used to uh, using the mathematics. I think uh, Western mathematics is quite good because it does teach creativity, but in some ways it doesn't teach enough of this kind of practice thing. So students are not that well prepared, I feel. Uh, when they do like the kind of PISA tests, they don't do so well because of this. Now, um, so I, what, what I would do is if I was going to give this to my son. Uh, well, let me just show you, um, yeah, like today I want him to learn like, uh, so uh, this one, I'm kind of trying to teach him these things. Uh, this is uh, like, uh, in English we would say bod mass, uh, which is uh, the the order of operations. So uh, I wanted to learn more advanced than this. So I'll just go down a little bit because already he's covered this um, stuff. So as you can see, now it's got brackets in it. So I'm going to uh, give him this later today. Um, and so I, I come here and I'm going to print this out. So you can print this sheet out and I'll just show you. To add a note because I think it's really important and I forgot to mention this when I was filming uh, every day this website is refreshing the questions so your child would never actually cover the same questions and I think this is really important because um, in math you do need so much practice and if you're just repeating the same things uh, every day you're not gonna get enough practice so every day my son is doing this, um, except for um, Sunday. Um, so this is his um, exercising. So we need like physical exercise, but we also need like this kind of mental exercising. So over here, as you can see, um, now there is like a QR code in the corner. So after my son has done it, I don't have to spend a long time just uh, grading it 
or checking his answers, what I can easily do is I can just get my phone, uh, just grab my phone here, uh, sorry, uh, and then I go to the QR uh, area on my phone, so I've got like a QR thing, and I just go over it, and I click on the link, so you can just download it like a QR app on your phone, and it'll do exactly the same thing. And then I have all his answers here. So the first answer should be like this, and then like this. Um, so yeah, you can just go through and check your child's answers in this way. So uh, very, very helpful. And um, anybody can use this website, it's free. And then I would also like to show you like, um, so this is my son's mathematics book, first of all. Um, this is kind of what they use um, as an additional thing. So you can see kind of the progression of the maths is very like step by step. And it's quite simplified for children. So being able to understand tens and units and those kind of things, it gives an example. Uh, and then uh, it has some kind of practice material for the child to go through. So a lot of practicing stuff uh, is happening. And then this is my daughter's um, one, which is a little bit more, well, a lot more advanced. Um, some of this stuff I'm not even sure how to do. Um, but yeah, she's been going through this. And yeah, as you can see, there's, it gets quite a lot of advanced toward the end. Um, with a lot of practice things. Um, and she's um, 14 years old and my son is 8 years old. Um, sorry, my, my daughter is yeah, 14 years old and my son is 8 years old, so this is kind of what they go through. And uh, then um, there are also like answer books that, the, that, you, that come in addition, uh, which are included in this book. Now I just want to go through and just show my son um, studying away. So, just go through. Yeah, he is. Um, so what I do is I set a time limit um, because uh, it's quite important um, for for a child to be able to keep the focus um, with mathematics. It, it's easy for them to lose focus, and um, so I I give him a time limit, and each question has a time limit on it, and I didn't really want to talk about that <laughs> in front of my son, but actually, yeah, children should uh, have. A, have a time limit otherwise they will spend ages doing this maths and they'll just get bored and uh, they'll get yeah they'll stop eventually um, studying much uh, yeah I think even adults need time limits for things it, it's helpful as a, as a way of kind of um, having a goal so yeah I work out kind of how, how long each um, sum is going to take, uh, how, how long each mathematics problem is going to take, and then I will set a time limit for how many problems there are. So if there's like 14 on this page, I will set like a time limit for that many questions. And um, that's kind of uh, how I, I go through the maths each day. And you can download apps that kind of do this. Usually they made for exercising like our physical body. Um, so, so they have a countdown for each different um, and then they sometimes have like a rest interval as well. So uh, yeah that's how I, I use the app. Um, but um, yeah, um, maybe I'll just go and get the app and just show you what the... So this app is called uh, Interval Timer. Just give a shout out. I don't get anything from this. I um, just want to show you. Okay, so I uh, hope that was helpful to you. And uh, I will uh, update you on anything else. Uh, if you have questions, just put them in the comment section. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.